Hey everyone, it's Joe. I wanted to give you a heads up about two new functions of the Auto Marketer that I'm really excited about. Uh, you've probably already seen the little, you know, red new buttons and the and the the wings over here, and maybe you've even uh, given them a try. Uh, we're just creating some tutorials for them now, and I wanted to let you know how to use them and uh, what the benefits are, and maybe what uh, to look out for uh, to make sure that you are that you do it uh, properly and that you don't uh, uh, get some surprised by what the cost might be. Uh, right now, you've been sending out, uh, in the past year, you've been sending out to Zillow. We've been scraping Zillow only through the auto marketer. Uh, now we've got the ability to scrape Craigslist. So this is exciting because Craigslist has a lot more leads uh, than Zillow did. Uh, when we switched over to Zillow, uh, my thinking was that there's going, we're going to find that uh, Zillow has about the same number of houses on it uh, that Craigslist does. Uh, and uh, that we're going to find 10 times, uh, of, you know, it's got 10 times more ads, uh, but most of those are duplicates. Uh, well, that wasn't the case. Um, many of them are duplicates, uh, but uh, it's, it looks like it's got two or three times as many ads on it in most of the markets we've been looking at. Uh, I haven't looked at every single market, but uh, Craigslist has more properties on it than uh, Zillow. So the potential for getting uh, a lot more leads is very high. Uh, but uh, since you're paying for scraped leads now, uh, it is going to cost more. Uh, so I wanted to make sure you were aware of that, uh, what the costs are and what it's going to take to make it happen. Uh, here are some um, uh, different campaigns that I've been running, just so you can kind of see uh, you know, what, what to expect uh, from a response rate uh, and a cost uh, basis as well. As you can see, the response rates to the ones that were sent out are pretty high. Uh, looks like the lowest one here is about 32 and the highest one's about 51. I've got some others here uh, that are lower. Uh, we've seen as, I'd, I would expect anywhere from 10% uh, to 75% uh, on the high end. Um, mostly they're probably going to hover somewhere around 20 or 30% uh, with, these, with these scrapes that are being sent out. And keep in mind that eight or nine uh, uh, out of ten are going to be people that say no uh, and then the other 10 to 20 percent are going to be people that say yes or maybe uh, to the offer that we're making uh, so uh, i would suggest if you're just getting started and you haven't become skilled in putting together these types of deals uh, that you call the no's as well as the yeses it's one of the things that we've been doing with my mentor students and they've been having some success with it by talking to the people who are saying no as well. We find that you need to talk to a hundred people, uh, full conversations where you don't get off the phone until they say no five times. Just keep asking them questions, uh, using the techniques that I'm teaching and look at the tutorials for learning how to talk to sellers. Uh, staying on the phone with them until you get good at this. Uh, when that happens uh, and you get good at it, then you're going to be able to talk to the people who say yes or maybe, and you're going to be able to convert those people on a much higher level than what you'd be able to do if you were just getting started with this. But I wanted to point out a couple of things about the cost. Uh, if you've scraped 335 ads, the cost of that is $26.80, but it found duplicates. Uh, so it's going to look for duplicates uh, or, or ads that don't have phone numbers, and it's going to give you credits back uh, for those people. So you're going to get a refund for all those uh, as well. So this ended up costing $21 instead. And then it's going to cost, to send out that 104, it's send it out at two and a half cents a piece. So it's going to cost you 260 to send it out. Uh, and then 54 leads came in from this 104. So it ended up costing 47 cents per lead. I would expect your leads to run anywhere from $1 to $4. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and they get cheaper like this. And that's wonderful when that happens. If you go to this page, there's a tutorial video that you can watch that'll show you how to set up this campaign. All right, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to do all this. Watch this tutorial video. It'll explain how to set up your campaigns and get the ball rolling. The other thing I wanna show you today on this quick video is the Send Snail Mail campaign that we just created as well. This system allows you to send out uh, postcards, uh, large postcards, small postcards, uh, letters with a window envelope, uh, or self-mailers. Uh, you only can send out the templates that we have available. Uh, 
Um, but it'll merge in all of your information uh, and it'll merge, you, you're able to, to import lists of mailing address if you want, or you can use uh, the scraped ads that come from Zillow. Uh, you, you won't be able to use the scraped ads that come from Craigslist because Craigslist doesn't have addresses, but Zillow has the address and it'll be able to check the address. It'll look for duplicates uh, so you don't send out multiple postcards to the same place. Uh, it'll also um, look for invalid addresses uh, that it can't send out to, and then it'll send out those. The, the cost to send these out uh, probably runs about a dollar a piece. It's a little cheaper for postcards, a little bit more for, for letters, uh, and there's a way that you can find out how much it costs to send those out. So watch uh, the snail mail video, which is going to be appearing here any minute, uh, and uh, uh, it'll give you all the details on how to send out these mailings. But I just want to show you real quickly what these mailings look like so you can see that they're mostly uh, We Buy Houses type um, postcards. So you've got the 5x8 postcards, you've got the, so a few different versions of these. You've got envelopes or letters, 8.5 by 11 letters that will be sent out in window envelopes. We have a self mailer that just gets folded up into a trifold and sent out. Got a couple of versions of that. And you can preview these and uh, see exactly what they look like. And as you can see, each one of these has merged information. So it merges the information from your database into the postcard. It sends that to the mailing house. The mailing house uh, sends that postcard out for you. And it usually goes out within uh, a couple of days. Uh, and it'll get to your address depending on where it's being sent uh, within just a few days. So all goes first class. If you watch the video, it'll show how the cost works. It'll show you how to uh, pick your list, how to upload your list if you choose, or if you want to search the leads inside your database, your lead management database, it'll let you do that. It'll also let you send out a test job, so you can send out one postcard if you like. You can send as few as one postcard, <laughs> uh, and that's the nice. Uh, that's a really nice function. Uh, it also allows you to create follow-up campaigns with these postcards. So if I wanted to go into the follow-up campaign system, I could do a drip system uh, on whatever lead that I choose or group of leads that I choose uh, and send out one postcard on day one and another postcard on day seven and another postcard on day 14 and just continue to drip on those people over a period of time. Uh, so that's another nice feature about this. It actually allows you to create a drip a snail mail campaign, which uh, there's not very many of those systems out there these days. So uh, the only thing it won't allow you to do is create your own mailing system or your own mailing piece. Uh, you have to use the ones that we have. We have about 15 different mailing pieces in here right now, and we will be adding more as we go. Anyway, I hope you, you use it. I hope you like it. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Um, so keep me posted. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the system.